Hello everyone and welcome back to my new series, Craft Room Cleanup. If you didn't see my intro video, I'll have it linked down below. Today I'm focusing on some of my clear stamps and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I logged all of my stamps down here. Uh, I also have my drawer stamps right over here. Um, I'm gonna go through all of these, maybe. I don't have a plan. So we're just gonna see what happens. Um, We've got a lot of stamps. These ones are in the CD cases. We've got some just in regular packaging. My new ones are up here for the most part. Um, and again, I have the drawers over here. You can't really see, but they're right here. So I'm going to go through my wood stamps, I think, first and actually move these out of the way because I have more wood, or I mean, I have more clear stamps than wood stamps. So we'll do wood stamps and ink first because. I don't remember the last time I used it. Well, actually, I used this one a couple months ago. So I've used wood stamps, just not very often do I use wood stamps. So we're just going to go through. I don't have a method. Um, I know there's some I don't use, um, but I think I'm going to sort them by type. And then I can take more of an inventory. So I think that's going to be the style right now. So I'm going to push these back a little bit. So we got background I, every day, maybe. Well, you can't really see my piles then. Every day background. I've never filmed like this before. I just bought this one. This is a sentiment. Um, it's words. I guess we'll do words. Basic words. I guess I could probably go a little faster. We've got some Halloween, which is good. I could use these. And then by doing this, you guys can keep me accountable and saying, Caitlin, I saw a stamp that I've never seen you use, and then I'll have to use it, right? I've used that one before. I've used this one before used to love this jar one. That's Halloween. This is St. Patrick's Day, which who owns St. Patrick's Day stamps except me? I mean, I am Irish, so that's okay, but Halloween, generic. These are cat themed, which I got for a present once. Um, also, sorry for the lighting. I didn't bring my lights over here, which why do I have them if I'm not using them? But some cat ones, I'm just going to put them in their own pile. This is a cruise ship vacation maybe. This I've used like once. I'm also going to make a maybe get rid of pile and this is going to be one of them. This one I'm getting rid of. Life is good. I love this little bird stamp but I think it's time it went. This is one of my first uh I made a card with this stamp called when you used to do oh what's it called paper piecing. It's just this little bird stamp. Maybe. This camera just doesn't like me. No, nothing. There we go. How cute is that? But I think it's gotta go. Because as you guys know, I don't use these very often. Another shamrock. Congratulations. This one comes in handy a lot. Um, I bought this guy, used it on a layout once. I guess that's generic. It's a little elephant. Sweet friend. I'm getting rid of this one. Oh, sorry. I didn't know I was off camera. This is Easter. I've used this one as well. Do I have an Easter pile? No, I do. This one says friends forever, never gonna use it. This is a uh, flower. This is a cloud. I did use this once. Use again. These are stamps I actually made myself in school once. I've never used this one. They're just little um, rubber pieces we etched. So one has my initials and one has um, these weird patterns on it. Maybe we'll focus. It like wants to, but it also doesn't want to. How does it not sense this? Nothing. Oh, there we go. So you can see these uh, just really weird. I don't know how I'll be able to use them again, but how can I not keep them? Maybe I'll try to use these on a layout once. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, I have this giant happy birthday, which I really actually love. It's a little um, like speech bubble with the word happy birthday in it. So keep like that. My brother got me this little fox. I'll put it with the cats. I have this little owl that I used to stamp on the back of my cards. This one says hand stamp for you by... That's, I don't know where to put that one. This is a little ticket that I've used quite a few times. I guess it'll go in generic. This one says you're spectacular. This is a Valentine's Day stamp. Which, I mean, it can be used for other things. Um, this one says you're one smart cookie. That's never been used before, but I like it. This is an Easter chick. There's my Easter pile. This elephant I used to use a lot. I have no idea where I got this. I assume Michael's, but I 
I'm not sure. This one says you are the best, and I'm going to get rid of it. Well, actually, I kind of like that. Uh, I don't know. Do you see me not getting rid of any? I think I've gotten rid of five, so that's not too bad. But another elephant with a hat on. Like, how many times can I do elephant with a hat on? Because there's another one. This one says thanks a million. Also like that one. Happy Halloween. Um, this one says many thanks. Um, I don't like it. I mean, it's really cute, but it's just so small. It's hard to use. Thinking of you. Mm, let's get rid of that one, too. This one says Merry Christmas. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't like the swirlies on the outside of it. And again, not to say there's nothing There's nothing wrong with these stamps. I just won't use them. This one I think I was given t as well. It's just a little stamping tool, which I really like. Um, because it like implies it was hand stamped. This one says Smile, I Love You. I'm getting rid of that one. Really cute, though. Love Our Friendship. I'm going to get rid of that one. Happy Birthday. Classic. Keep it. How did I own this many stamps? Wishing you all of life's best. That's a weird sentiment. This little heart arrow. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one too. These are all like the dollar ones that I used to buy. This one says friends are flowers that never fade. Um, I bought this on clearance for $1.97 and it's a great sentiment. Also, why do I keep going off camera? <laughs> I wish you guys could yell at me when I do so I can just fix it. But this will be uploaded after that. This one says so thankful. I'm going to get rid of it. This book belongs to. This is an old Winnie the Pooh stamp and I'm going to keep it. Um, pretty vintage. I got it at, like, a yard sale. Really cute. Uh, generic. This one's just a heart in a bracket. Gonna get rid of it. I'm sure I could use these, but I'm just not feeling it. Easter Blessings. Uh, put that in the keep pile. This one says, just wanted to say thanks. Put that one in the giveaway pile. Enjoy. I'm not going to use that. Hugs and kisses from home. I'm not going to use that either. This one says you're a super stuck. Oh, you're a super kid. That one's really cute, so we'll keep that. And then I have this bird that I've never used, so I'll put him in the generic. This one says thought thoughts of you. I'm not going to use that. Um, and then this rose one, which I have used before. So this is the everyday pile that's going to topple over. I have two backgrounds and I still have another. There's more backgrounds in this other tub. Um, some sentiments over here. Cruise ship. These are some other animals. Halloween, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day. And that's pretty much it. I think I got rid of my Christmas stamps. I used to have a lot more Christmas stamps, but I think those are already in my giveaway pile. Um, but these ones that I am going to get rid of, I will also give away probably. They are gently used, if not new this one's new um so maybe i'll give one away at the end of this um clean out thing here that i'm doing so one tub empty that needs to be cleaned out holy crap what is this that's a piece of a photo that this used to live near my trash can so i'd often find things in it that weren't supposed to be in it and that's one of them so now there's a bunch of trash in here so we're gonna move that out of the way and pull in this one uh I have a roller stamp that I should probably get rid of because I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of this. I did use it once. Um, but yeah, I got this in a grab bag once. Long ago. This one I'm also going to get rid of. Was racked that. Um, also very nice. Just don't want to use it. Word by word. This was a Stampin' Up! one that I got. Super, super old. You guys even see that? It's a little glary. But I think this would be really fun if I just stamped it once and then cut them out and used them on a couple layouts or cards. Like Giggle could be used, Pals. Put that over there. I mean, how could I get rid of a giant Stampin' Up! stamp? This one's really fun. I don't remember where I bought this one either. Maybe Hobby Lobby, but it's just this texture like rug. But this texture is really fun for vintage layouts. I have the Word Search one from Stampin' Up! Really want to try to use this. I haven't used it on a card recently at least. Um, so maybe I'll try to use that. There's a lot of stuff on there. Uh, this one's a script background. We have this rose. This would be really fun to use my Zig Clean Colors on, but I haven't tried that yet. Also, it doesn't focus on like the individual stamps, so sorry about that. Um, but I'll tr keep that one. And I also used this one before. This was also racked to me. It's very well loved, but I'm going to keep that one too. I have a stamp scrubber. This is probably disgusting, so are you ready? Yeah, no, this needs to be... I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't often use this, but it's really nice for the rubber stamps, so 
maybe pile. I do have some of these Stampin' Up! sets. This one, Nature Walk, I've used a ton. Here, let me give you guys a closer look at these at least. Because you guys might um, have these or know of these. Oh, if there's anything you guys want to see me try to use, let me know. I'd be happy to try. Um, looks like this. Really cute, though. This one I've never used. It's a very tiny set. You can see it's still in its little packaging. Um, but it's called My Little Valentine. I received a uh, kit with this in it for making little valentines. And then, like, not all the stuff was in it to make them. So... But that's cute. I'll keep it for now. Valentine's Day is around the corner. And then I also got the Strength and Hope set. Um, I used to make cards and sell them for a Really for Life fundraiser. Um, so yeah, I have this one, which is really, really sweet. And I love the butterfly in that set. So it looks like the rest of this might be inks, which I don't know when the last time I used a colored ink was. But um, these are all of the rubber stamps that I'm going to keep, I guess. So... I don't know how I'm going to organize these. I think they'll all fit in one bin. Let me quickly empty out um, both of these. I'll take all the inks out of this, and then we'll put all of these away together so they make more sense. So I'll be right back after I organize all that. Now that I have the tub cleaned out to put the stamps back in, I think this is the best way for me to store my wooden stamps is this small drawer because I don't want to buy more than this small drawer. Um, that's another thing I want to do. Everything has its place um, was one of my goals. So one drawer for wooden stamps. Hopefully they'll all fit. Um, the real problem with wooden stamps is accessibility. I might move these so I can get the drawer closer to me. Um, but it's accessibility. So if I stack them the wrong way, I won't be able to get them out as easily. So let's see. I'm going to fit all. Oh man, it bends the drawer just a tiny bit. I'm wondering... Okay, so I could put one this way. I wish they'd all fit this way, but this is just a little too small for this one, which has really thick foam on it, so that makes sense. But I do have this one. Maybe this one will fit. No? Okay. So maybe they won't all fit like I wanted. Um, I don't know how to organize them, really. If you guys have tips for wooden stamps, like if you just have a drawer of wooden stamps where you are, let me know. I'm thinking something like this, where they stack up like little walls. Um, and putting like my least favorite at the bottom. <laughs> so like Easter may be able to stack all right here. Because what I'm saying is I won't know where they are in the drawer once they're all stacked. And I do have a couple that are odd shapes like this one. Um, is an odd shape. And then I have my St. Patrick's Day ones which I don't know they can go right there. This cruise ship one which I'll probably never use but I really love. Friendship. It's like a puzzle piece. Uh, you gotta put them in where they fit. Happy New Year. Very nice. Whoa, almost dropped it. See, if I knock this over, I'm gonna be really mad. Um, so I don't have many organization tips as of right now. Because I'm gonna try this out and see how it works out. And then go from there, probably. Um, maybe this one will fit over here. Seven Gypsy Stamp. That one's kind of short. I almost grabbed stuff out of my get rid of pile, which is underneath the camera. That would have been awkward. Okay, Halloween. I have this one that's an odd shape. Put it over there. Oh, here's another big one. I know I won't use those ones very often. Uh, what's this one? A ticket. And then if I don't have enough to fill this spot, it'll all just fall over anyway. So, having that realization now. No. How about here? Mm, the door's not going to fit properly if I do that. So there's the cat ones. And I have this little cloud. Of course all the foams are different sizes so they don't fit properly in there. As you guys see this looks pretty aesthetically pleasing so far. Um, but it does not look good in real life. <laughs> looks good on camera but not very functional. Um, in any way. So maybe I'll stand all these sentiments up so they stand up like this. But they're just going to fall over when I open the drawer, right? Does this make any sense? There's room over here, though. Maybe I'll just put them up there. This is what happens when I organize. I end up just throwing everything in there because I know it's just going to end up that way. So for now, we've cleaned out this drawer, which is really, really good. 
So working on an organization system for this, I don't have one yet. If I stack them all flat, it might be easier, but I like the standing method only because they can, I don't know. I also didn't fit these in there, but these weren't in this drawer anyway, so I think that's okay. Um, so I still have my Stampin' Up! ones. So let's move on. I'm going to move this out of the way here. And then move on to my ink drawer, which at the end of the other clip you heard crash and fall. Um, so I don't think I need a whole drawer like this for inks. And I'd honestly like to... Well, it went out of focus. Um, I'd honestly like to try to um, not keep all my inks in this giant drawer, because I really don't need to. But let's take them all out, make sure they're all still okay. Um, I did get rid of a lot last time I went through here. So maybe that's what's going to happen this time. I have an all-purpose stamp cleaner that I've never used. A stamp and stick glue pad that I've never used. Um, another ink pad I've never used. So I've used these ones before. Um, another one I've never used. This one I've used quite a few times. Uh, these ones I've used. Little guys. And then this one. Um, also brand new from Stampin' Up! So, and then I also have my block cleaners. These alcohol swabs, so I don't have my block out right now because it's at my desk. Sorry about the focusing again. I don't know what's happening. These are just little alcohol swabs. Uh, they're in the medical aisle. You probably have some um, rubbing alcohol in your closet, but I have a little swabby kind. Um, these are great for cleaning off your acrylic blocks as long as they don't have lines on them. They can get off all the icky, gross materials, so definitely recommend these. Um, again, I have a Stampin' Up! block that I use to clean them with, or clean... I have Stampin' Up! block that I clean um, with them, so that works out pretty well. I'm just going to wipe out this drawer with a baby wipe just so I can get the stuff out of it. And there's like blue stains on it from ink pads and stuff, which is kind of funny, but just wiping it down a little bit just to clean things up because dust does collect in your drawers, which is kind of annoying, but that's just a fact of life. So now we have our little uh, drawer here. So I don't think I really want to get rid of any inks unless they're dry. Um, only because I haven't had a real chance to use them like I want to. And some of these are really nice. Like all these are by Plaid. Um, all Night Media. That's what they say, but I don't know. But you can kind of see the colors even though it's out of focus. I have a mango and a sunflower which are absolutely beautiful. And I have a green one too. Hampton Art Stampin' Up! ones. These are some mini ones, but they're good. Color Box is my favorite. And then I even have some Avery L's um, ink pads. So, again, I'm not an ink pad collector. I'd rather color images than stamp them the colors. So, we'll see. But I don't think I'll be able to use this whole thing. Which leads me to another item of this is acrylic stamps. So, I have a whole, whole drawer full here um, of CD acrylic stamps. Um, and I also have a whole box full over here of CD acrylic stamps. So what I'm thinking is that I'll have two drawers of CD acrylic stamps and Stampin' Up! stamps down here, the DVD case ones, um, until I have all the original packaging for most of these, so I could put them back. Of course, I need to go through them and try to get rid of some, which will break my little heart, but we need to purge uh, some stuff because it's too much here. So I think what I'll do is leave the ink pads out for now. Sorry again about the focusing. I don't know. It's because of the low lighting in here. But I'm going to leave this open for now. I'll leave my ink pads out. I'm going to keep them all for now. And then we'll go through some of these drawers. I'll start with this one. Um, also, these are new stamps that I need to put away. We'll come back to those later. Oh, I also have these to put away. My little um, custom rubber stamps. So most of these I honestly should get rid of. Let's do a little zoom in here so you guys can see them a little better. So this one says nothing on it. They do mostly have stickers on them, but this one's Dollar Store Stamps. Um, I'm not in love with any of these. These will go in the Probably Go pile. Uh, these ones are by Hampton Art. I love these. Well, what's it say? Hampton Art Family. I don't know. Family and Borders. I love these family ones, so I think I'm going to keep those, but I kind of want to get rid of these border ones, so this is going to go in a different pile. This is a sports one by Recollections, which I'll probably get rid of. Latte Love, that one's a really good set by Fiskers. This one's by American Crafts, it's a wedding themed one. This one has a second label on it. 
This is MSE, my stamps, ex my sentiments exactly. Postcard, it says, let's celebrate. You always know just what to say and just what to do. The road to a friend's house is never long. Okay, well, these ones are cute, so I have to keep them. And I don't think I've ever used that stamp set. These are baby ones from American Crafts. These ones are fairly new to me. Tonic Studios Retro Tech. These are rubber mounted. I like those ones. I'll keep those. So I think once I figure out which ones I'm going to keep, I'm going to start categorizing the CD cases because I don't see a point in putting them all back in their packaging. I really don't. That's going to be way too much work. These are great sentiments and these are from TPC Studios. I have no idea what that stands for, but these are great sentiments. I love using those. These are by Fiskers, Teresa Collins. Thank you. Uh, those can go in the maybe go pile. <laughs> These I used to use all the time. These are the Inka Dinka Do Organic Flourishes. Uh, probably should get rid of these too. Um, they're beautiful, but I don't know. I'll put, I don't know. I could get rid of all of these and probably not remember them, so uh, it's really hard to pick. This one, I haven't used half of these. I love a good donut stamp though, so I might keep some of these. Like a donut. Oh, never mind. they're really hard to get out of the cases now, which is a problem because I probably should take them all out of these cases because they're starting to stick really bad to the CD case. But I don't need mustaches. I don't really need these stars either. These will probably go in the probably go pile. And then this one's from Hero Arts. This is the Trees, Birds, and Messages, which is well loved, and I'll probably keep that because I love using that one. Doodle Bug, or Doodle Bug, Doodle Flowers by Inka Dinka Do. I also don't like the style of these, so I'm probably just going to get rid of them. Maybe if I like the style, I'd keep them, but I do not. This is a Happy Birthday set from American Crafts. Uh, honestly, don't really like it. I should probably get rid of that wedding one, too, because I know I'm never going to use it. Um, and if you guys know me, I don't purge like this very often. What I really do is just when I look at something and I don't want it anymore, I just put it in my giveaway pile. Um, if you guys would like to do a giveaway of these stamps, I've probably should just donate them because there's so many here but if you have to like a giveaway instead like if someone thinks they'd actually use these um, I'd probably do something these are basic gray so I have to keep them because they're my fave I miss basic gray a lot <laughs> these are card stamps by Inka Dinka Do they're sticking to each other this one's well loved as well and I think I'm gonna get rid of it this is Baby Sayings by Cloud9 and there's like a million baby sayings and I've never made a baby card I don't think do you guys see all those words? That's so many. Let me see if I can read one. Uh, I can't read most of these. <laughs> Maybe. No, I don't like these. <laughs> the ones that I can read are okay. I don't. That's great for the inside of cards, but I don't make those types of cards. These are no chalk ink only. This one's chalk ink only. These are by Technique Tuesday and Imagine-esque. Technique Tuesday has great things. Um, but I think I'm going to donate those. I don't need flip-flop stamps. This is an iCling set. These are from, what's it called? Studio G mostly. And then there's another brand that made these after a while. But I don't remember. But I like these as well. Most of these are really cute. Like that little mushroom. Adorable. Keep. K and Company. This was from a collection that I had. Uh, also, the CD case is broken. I don't think I'll really realistically use it again. So, get rid of it. This one is from American Crafts as well. I like some of these items. We'll think about it. I don't think I have a think about a pile. I just put it in the get rid of pile when I say think about it. Uh, I didn't get to use these as much as I wanted to, so I'm going to keep them. These are by Heidi Grace, which is a throwback brand. But these are just travel themed. Um, and I'm hoping you guys can see enough while I'm doing this. I feel like you can't see anything, and then I feel bad. This is called Boxed Wishes by Inka Dinka Do, and I tried to use these, but let me see. I don't, I don't like them. So, and so now I have two little storage cases open. Whoa, I'm so close to the camera. Um, now I have two storage cases open, uh, one plastic and then one cardboard. So this is what the CD cases came in that I... Um, used for my stamp storage. There we go. Now we have one more to go, which is quite crazy because I feel like I've been doing this for two hours. <laughs> um, so these are all of my CD stamps though. So as soon as we're done with this, we're done with CD stamps. And we still have my acrylic stamps to go through, but maybe that'll be a whole nother video because this is going to be so long. 
I used this on a layout last two years ago. Um, this is a Doodlebug one. It's a frame one. I think I like it. This one's really fun. It's just a fruit themed one. Well, also other vegetables. I also have a lot of blank CDs in here, which is good because I can store other things in there. Um, so I'm just going to take those out so you guys know how long we have left to go. Let's see. These aren't in CD cases. This one, Stampology Autumn Leaves. Uh... 2009. They sold these at Walmart, I believe, uh, which is a throwback as well. If I, should I move the camera out a little more? There we go. Um, I really love this stamp. Uh, and I use this stamp. I have used this. I know I have because I used this on a shaker card um, for my boyfriend a couple years ago and I made a video about it. But I'm going to get rid of this one as well. This is a giant alphabet set I used to love as well. This is Autumn Leaves uh, Freestyle Alpha. Wow. I'm going to get rid of that one too. Oh, so many memories and stamp sets. Isn't that funny? This I'm going to get rid of. It's probably broken. and I don't remember where I got it, but it's a little ink pad and alphabet set. Um, oh, these are jelly bean soup. This is an alphabet set. I'm going to keep that. Like I said, I really need to sort these because I could use my alphabet stamp sets a lot more. This is autumn leaves slash stampology postage borders. Let's open it up. Yeah, I'll never use this. It's like for decorating the outside of a package. Um, which I do send out a lot of packages, but that's okay. This is Autumn Leaves Flourishes, and I used to use this all the time on my cards. And I love this. I'm going to keep this one. It's great for adding a little detail to the background. Animal Sayings. These ones are pretty funny. Like it says, you'll always be my best friend. You know too much. You're utterly fantastic. Thanks a bunch. You know, cute puns. Again, by Ink and Ingledu, which was my favorite, oops, favorite stamp company back in the day. Guys, there's an avalanche happening behind the camera. Oh, let's see. Every day. This is by Hampton Art. A little hello. Let's see what else is in here. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm not into border stamps very much, so I'm just going to get rid of those. Uh, this one's Inka Dinka Doo Birds Galore, which these look very beautiful. Um, I know I've used some of them. I think I silver embossed this one, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. Well, this one I'm going to put in the maybe pile. Because it was kind of cute still. This is a dollar store set. F or no, these are the dollar ones from Inka Dinka Doo. That's the other company who used to do dollar sets. Let's see. We have flowers, a hummingbird, which is cute, a little dog, a butterfly. This one's fun, except I ripped it. I remember ripping that when I first got it, and I was so mad. Um, I really like some of these, so I think I'm going to pull some of these out and then keep the rest. KI Memories. I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, Studio G. These are a lot of sentiments. Um, I should have brought a paper over so I could show you guys, but many thanks. Hello, warm wishes. We're gonna get rid of that one. Oh, this one's really. This is a Martha Stewart bird stamp set. I um, really love that one. I want to watercolor more of those now that I have my zigs. This is from American Crafts. Uh, I definitely still have the cases for these. These came in like snapshell cases. Um, oh man, I just dropped all those. Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. This one's from Recollections and I really love the mason jars in it. This is an alphabet I've used a ton. Inka Dinka Doo Sketchy Alpha. I don't know if they have these anymore either. Most of these are probably non-existent. This is Crepe Paper's Lillian Collection and it's a Crepe Paper stamp set so I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> This is the Martha Stewart Butterfly stamp set. It matched the bird stamp set I showed you earlier. Um, really cute butterflies, though. And now that I have a stamping tool, it's a lot easier to stamp these types of stamps. This is another one of my favorites. This is by Autumn Leaves as well. And this is the journaling stamp set. And this is super old. I probably still have the packaging, but if you can tell, they're just um, different blocks, different stamp blocks. There's a round one over here as well, um, which I really, really like. And then I'm having the Leaning Tower of Pisa stamped behind me. This one I wish I used a lot more. This is Basic Gray as well. It's called Hello. And it says IWN, which that might mean something, but I'm just not sure what. It might mean images, words, something, numbers. Um, but it has all the days of the week and all the months. So this needs to be like on my desk so I can use it all the time. This might be one that I would put back in its packaging just so I know, like am aware it's there. Do you guys know what I mean? Um, also, guys, let me know how you store your stamps down below. I mean, maybe I'm doing this all wrong, because I could be. 
What is that? There's like a pile of goop in the bottom of here. Oh, it's a stamp that's gone rogue. What happened to it? It like warped. I just like feels slimy. I promise it's not a bug, it's a snowflake stamp, but I don't know what happened to it. It's like icky. I'm gonna throw this away. This is one of the dollar store stamps, not dollar store. I think Studio G stamp sets. And I think I missed a trash can, so that's a little annoying. This is a sweetstamps.com stamp, handmade arch from the heart. How cute is that? Super cute. Keep. Okay, what else is down? Ew, it's so icky down here. I have to wipe this off. This is uh, Imagine S Snagum stamps. This is a little choo-choo tree. Guys, I was off screen again. <laughs> Again, these are not going to be very edited videos. I don't think I said that before, but I meant to. Oops. This is an Operation Write Home stamp. I'm going to keep this in case it ever does come back. Um, I, I keep dropping things. Uh, get out of there. so much goop I have to clean. <laughs> okay, there's no goop in here. Uh, this is the Martha Stewart Flowers stamp set. This matches the other ones uh, from, like, the birds and the butterflies. So I'm going to keep that as well. This one's really fun. This one's by... Well, I think it's Recollections, um, but it's just a bunch of sea friends, turtles, octopuses, whales. Inka Dinka do many thanks. I uh, really love that stamp set. It's just a bunch of thank you sentiments in different fonts. And then this is the holiday dollar stamps. Guys, I lived off of dollar stamps when I was first starting. Um, we have a little bunny, some shamrocks, which I think I'm going to keep. Pumpkins, I love using these pumpkins. They're the perfect size for cards. XO, XO. I'm going to keep this one too. Okay, so I definitely need to clean out this bin, and I'm going to bring over all the stuff that I'm keeping next to all the stuff that I'm getting away, so you guys can see how much I purged. Like I said, I don't purge often, if at all. I don't know what you'd call it. I just get rid of things periodically, um, and then I either give them to my cousin, or a school, or in my giveaway pile, which you guys know I have a giant drawer of giveaway stuff, so there'll definitely be giveaways coming up. Um, but now I'm going to come back and sort all this stuff out so you guys can see the difference. So here are the two stacks next to each other. The ones that I am keeping are right here, which is taller than the ones over here, but it is cutting my stash in almost half for CD cases, um, which is pretty impressive, I think. At least I think it is. I mean, it's kind of crazy that I had this many. Plus, I haven't even gone through the ones that aren't in CD cases. Um, clearly, I have a stamping problem, um, especially since I don't make stamping videos, but I do make a lot of cards. Uh, I used to make a lot, lot more. I just ran uh, out of time for a lot of them, which is why I'm not filming videos of cards much because it takes a lot more work to film those than it does for a scrapbooking layout. Uh, so glad to be getting rid of these. Uh, again, probably doing a giveaway once I have all the stuff I'm going to get rid of. Uh, Becky Bidding, Biting, Bidding, Biting, I think, has done a uh, vlogist series where she was cleaning out her closet in her craft room and I know she's doing a giveaway afterwards with the stuff she's parting with um, so these are the ones I'm keeping and now we're going to organize them by some sort of system and then these are the ones I'm getting rid of so let's get to organizing these shall we so here are all of my CD cases that I'm keeping um, I know some categories I already want like alphabet so I'm going to pull those out um, when I see them Okay, so alphabets, maybe sentiments is a different one, maybe animals, maybe nature is one because that'll be covering a lot more birds. Um, this is animals and sayings, this is birds. Wasn't I supposed to get rid of this one? Maybe that was in a maybe pile. Alphabets. And of course, if you guys have suggestions for categories that I'm not thinking of, let me know. Love to hear them. Um, this one's nature. Some of these are multiple categories, which is a little bit harder to deal with. Okay, sentiments. That one. And then there's like icons, um, like these from TPC Studios. Um, which again, I don't know if I've ever actually heard of that company before. Um, I'd say that one's sentiments for the most part. This one's food related so maybe I should have a food category since I also have this one from Fisker so we'll do a little food category perhaps um, journaling blocks I don't know this one's going to be icons oh well this house got uh, icons no I'm not sure what to do with the rest of these 
because like I said, a lot of these are mixed. This one's got birds and icons in it. I think I'll put it in animals because then I'll be more likely to use it. Because I love looking for animal stamps. This one as well in the nature pile. It's got a lot of flowers. Um, this one's mostly flowers, birds, dog, dolphin. Put that one over there. This one's got a variety. This one's travel themed. Maybe we should have a miscellaneous pile at the end. Uh, swirls. These two definitely go together, but they're not like their own. This one's probably going to two. So it's like frames and stuff. These are words. Like I said, I really want this basic gray one near my desk. It'd be perfect for Project Life. Uh, absolutely perfect. Um, because it has the numbers and the months and the days of the week on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one's I'm going to put in the food because it's about jars pickling, essentially. Then this one's holiday, which I got rid of the rest of my holiday ones, so that's not really going to go anywhere. Maybe icons. Icons. And then I don't know what that is. Maybe every day. So these will be every day. So we have food every day. Icons, alphabets, sentiments, nature. A lot of nature. So I want to make little dividers somehow. Uh, maybe out of my scrap paper here, which is right over here. Um, so let me grab this. I did wash this out. It's still This one's still drying because of the goop that was inside it. So I'm going to use the other one, um, which is dry because I washed it earlier. So for now, I think I'll just grab some pieces that are like a decent size and then put them in between uh, just to have that separation. So I'm going to start with every day. So these are my basic gray ones, my swirls, my journaling spots, and my frames. So that's going to go there, and there's going to be a divider. And then one of these, these are food. Then alphabet. Actually, every day in alphabets can go together. There, settled. This one, probably not tall enough. Uh, so we have every day and, what did I just say? Alphabets. Then sentiments, because sentiments are always what you're looking for usually. And a divider. That's too big. That's too small. That's a weird... Why did I keep that? Uh, that's 110 pound cardstock. I'm not going to use that. That's too tall. I don't keep too many smaller scraps because I don't want to... Just fold this one over. There. And then we'll go with icons. I'm hoping this encourages me to look in here more often. I can't tell you the last time I looked for a stamp set in this drawer. I just don't use them that often. Um, oh man, domino effect. And I'll probably make prettier dividers later on. Uh, so then we'll do food then nature, nature then food. Probably food last, right? Well these all fit in one drawer because that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? So... Here we go. I think I'll have to make this into a two-parter because it's already probably so long. Um, but if it's not a two-parter, then thank you for staying here and listening to me do this. Because I'm sure it's not the funnest. But hopefully you guys are cleaning while you're listening or scrapping while you're listening or watching. Um, there we go. Look, there's room to spare. Which means I can put like these other little guys. Like this one says Handmade Art from the Heart in there. That's great. So now we have that done. So I still need to find somehow to sort my inks. I do have another drawer for this unit available. So if we pan up here, let's see if I will do it nicely. That was pretty nice. Uh, so I have a three drawer unit. I think this would be in the top drawer. Wood stamps have to go in the bottom drawer because they're the heaviest. Because they're so heavy and they'll weigh down, they'll bend the unit up. Um, if I don't, hmm, what could we do with this drawer? So maybe I make this this first drawer. Maybe I could put, so I need to put my ink somewhere. Um, another thing that I've been doing lately is having um, images cut out and, or cut out and ready. So I have my coloring stuff I could put somewhere. Um, my brush pens and my, um, well, I have two sets of brush pens. I don't know why I was going to call them both brush, something else and brush pens, but they're both brush pens. So maybe I could put these in here. 
Let's see if they'll fit in the drawer. This. Okay, those ones do. Okay, so maybe I can fit my inks in with these. And I still have to put my Stampin' Up ones away, guys. So maybe they'll fit like next to... I don't think they fit standing up, do they? No. So they have to be laying down. Because they don't fit standing up, I don't think. So they're not going to fit in that drawer. <laughs> Which maybe they can just go in with my other stamps, my other acrylic stamps, I don't know. So I first thought I need to fold this down because it's in the way. And this one. Which is fine. Uh, I don't really mind. So I have my real brush pens here. Let's put this in. And again, I'll label those with real labels later. So then I'm left with this drawer here. Also, I did not know how to film this, so sorry for all these terrible angles and stuff. So if I keep my brush pens like this, which I don't really like, actually. Hmm. I do have other things I could store in here. Let me go grab it off my desk. So I have this little bin, or little pack here. Uh, this is one of those Studio Calico baggies. And then I have this little bin here. Um, so these are stamped images that I could take uh, on the go with me and just color. Uh, so this I could keep in there, which I think would be fun. Then I also have images that are colored that need to be cut out, which usually also go in here. So maybe we should do that instead. I'm wondering if, so, I don't think I've uploaded it yet, or I might have to redo it, but I did an Arteza brush pen first impression and review uh, when I first got them during Amazon Prime Day, uh, and I don't think it's up yet by the time this will go up, but I think I can't keep them in this package because the packaging is the flimsiest thing I've ever felt, and it was cracked when I got it. It's cracked down on the bottom here, which is very sharp plastic, which means it could cut me. So I don't think I'm going to keep them, but I really love that the zigs fit right there. So here's what we're going to do for now. I'm going to leave the Arteza brush pens out. I also have blended backgrounds in here. Um, so maybe I'll keep those in there. And then completed images. Look at this little astronaut. Can you guys see him? How cute is he? He's so cute. Uh, so I have these that I could put in there. Look at these. So I think we're going to do that. Another thing I kept in here was card bases that were just cut and not used yet. Hmm. And I know I talked about my inks a little bit, but my distress inks here, let me move this back down. But my distress inks are all in my carousel on my desk because I try to use those on my layouts as well. So for now, I think we're going to do stamped images for the most part. So we're going to keep the zigs in here, my stamped images, and my inks. And maybe these stampin' up stamps because I do need to use them more often because these are expensive. Something like this. And then I could put the stamp cleaner back up in here. So let me just put inks back here. Let me start with the largest. So Avriel. And I don't know which of these inks can be stored upside down and which ones can't. So if they're not going to be stored upside down at all. Also, some of these should probably be glued shut because they will pop out and spill all over, probably. I have a Stampin' Up! ink pad. This is called the Going Gray. Look how old this ink pad must be. Look at that design. Isn't that funny? The little plaid design. I should probably also test all these, but I'd test them with my finger, if anything. I am going to get rid of these two color box inks. These are... The cat eye ones in warm red and warm green. I got these when I started making Christmas cards, um, which was so long ago. Uh, so they're probably not the best quality. I have an unopened color box black. My stamp pad, which I'll never use. Probably scares me to open that. Oh, I have a stamp out ink pad too. I forgot about. I should have went down there. That's okay. So I'm just going to stack these in here for now so they don't fall all over when I open the drawer. Just something to get them in here. And then my stamp cleaner can go back there, even though I've never used it. Okay, another drawer done. So if I wanted to put the Arteza Real Brush Pens in, I'd have to take out my Stampin' Up! stamps. Which, they don't have another home right now, so I think they're going to have to stay there. Um, 
and then, or, hmm, I just put a bunch of hair in there by accident. I need a vacuum in here. Also, I meant to apologize for my dirty floors earlier because I meant to do that, but that's okay. So now I have my little stamped images ready to go. Uh, so let's put this up there. I don't really love this as my first drawer, so maybe this will become my second drawer because it's not like I reach for ink in here. I have inks on my regular uh, desk organization too. Um, but right now we have that drawer, coloring and ink drawer, so it's a lot of colors. Then we have the poorly divided uh, clear stamps, and then we have the wooden stamps down here. So I think that's it for part one. Oh, look what I just found. These are those American Crafts clamshells I was talking about. Look, I have them all. Uh, there's one more in here. I think the blue one, oh, blue one, sentiments, birthday, baby, thanks, and wedding. I begged for these when they came out on HSN. And, oh, was it HSN? I think it was. That's where I got a majority of my craft supplies when I first started. Um, so I might put them back in these when I do the giveaway or something. But because that's pretty cool that they came in the original packaging, right? That's pretty fun. So that's going to be it for part one for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next we're going to tackle the clear stamps that are in pouches. And let me show you that one more time. It is this giant thing of clear stamps. So I hope you guys enjoyed again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!